Good morning, you guys. What's going on? So sorry I did not end the last video from yesterday, but by the time we got in the car, we just wanted to figure out which way we needed to go and go that way, you know? So I am really sorry about that. So today we are on our way headed to Tokyo Disney. I have on my little short wig, my um, mini ears, have on my um, um, John Lennon shirt, and I am actually wearing a dress, some jeans, some polo boots, and I have my Georgia State sweater around my waist because it was really chilly yesterday. I do not have any makeup on today because I just to be quite frank i just did not feel like wearing any like as oily as my face was yesterday and so on and so forth i would just rather i would just rather not you know so yeah so it is about nine o'clock which we are late i guess i wanted to be gone by six sorry i wanted to be gone by six so we could be there by eight and it's nine and we're just leaving, but it's okay. Darius is tired. He didn't go to sleep until like three o'clock in the morning. I'm not sure why. Maybe he just wasn't tired, I don't know. But um, yeah, so that's what we got going on today. We are hopping in the car and I will hit you guys on the, oh, Ears almost came off. I will hit you guys on the line once we get near or to the halfway point. I'm actually going to see. We're leaving a lot earlier today. So I also want to see how long it's going to take to get there today versus leaving later yesterday. Say hi, babe. He's kind of grumpy today. I'm not happy about that, but hopefully. He gets better so i'll see you in a few okay y'all so we are um what are we we are at tokyo disney sea in the parking lot so it is a completely different parking lot and parking area from tokyo disneyland and i actually got really um confused finding it so i had to end up like driving around twice to get it but i am here but we are here and it was 30 dollars to park again at this one too even though you know it's funny after i let me tell you something i'm like always trying to like scam the system i realized that real talk we probably could have just parked in one of the parking lots at the hotels and caught the little tram we would have had to pay to catch the tram but you know we wouldn't have had to pay for parking again they usually have like um people who check the car they probably have to have something to car. one of them didn't though but well, i don't know maybe i might have to test out that theory for y'all one day <laughs> but um you can kind of see disney c from like the parking lot but yeah this this parking lot i'm sorry that y'all can't see me i'm in a garage but this parking lot is way closer than um than the disneyland one like you can literally see the park from the parking lot so yeah we are about to walk on in there Just walked in. It's the first thing you see when you walk in. This is beautiful. It's so different. Yeah. I'm so used to like seeing Mickey all the time. And that's no Mickey, man. At the fountain. Alright y'all, so I know Darius got did a little overview, but here is Tokyo Disney Sea. Different compared to 
compared to like a regular Disney park. And I actually love that. I think that's so cool. That makes this park so original. The music is still magical. Like a regular Disney world. Like, you know, a regular Disneyland or a Disneyland park. But it's something about the aesthetic. It reminds me of like old Spanish. Like, I don't know, something about it is like old Spaniard style building. Not El Dorado, but just like old, like, like, I don't know, what do y'all think? Maybe even Italian, maybe even Italian, an Italian vibe. I don't know if it's a Spanish vibe or an Italian vibe, but it's definitely giving me some type of vibe and the vibe is beautiful, it is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I'm not gonna say that the entrance it's better than the entrance to Tokyo Disneyland because it's not and that's only because Tokyo Disneyland that entrance with like that foyer area is just so grand you know so but I'm gonna go ahead and oh I'm sorry y'all can't see me but I'm gonna go ahead and grab a map so as we're walking the little tunnel this is what you see these gondola rides this is so cute it's so romantic y'all know I'm like I'm a romance freak I want everything to be romantic now this is very Italian so maybe Italian is the vibe and I'm like just fucking up when I say Spanish but that's why I'm the same thing so same area of the world Ew. like the goddamn snack queen a fry legend and i love fries if you don't know anything about me you know that i love fries oh that's just legendary we ever meet up somewhere bro oh don't look bad um you're not even holding the camera the right way you have to be more mindful he's a terrible cameraman y'all oh this is sullivan's tavern this is so different i'm not even going to lie i'm very impressed What's this? The show must be coming through. Oh, this is a one. The one thing we didn't get to do. Um, something that we didn't get to do yesterday was see any shows. So I'm hoping today. Oh, there I go right there. Music Bambi. The next show is at 12:40. What time is it? 
Oh, they're waiting for. We didn't really get to see any shows yesterday, so I really want to see some shows hopefully today. So it's called Toyville Trolley Park. I know I'm coming. Oh my god, it's closed. Another one of my favorite rides is closed. How depressing. But I'll just show you guys. This is so different. What did you say? Ain't that crazy? Second park in a row, one of my favorite attractions are closed. I'm depressed. I know. I'll call you back. Alrighty, so also just found out that Journey to the Center of the Earth is closed, and I'm actually kind of sad about that. But right now we are at Hudson. We are at Hudson River Harvest. About to get some chicken for Darius. It comes with a side of potatoes, so I'm gonna like eat the side of potatoes. It smells delicious though, so I'm excited about that. All right, so we just chow down on the black pepper chicken and fries with cheese sauce. I mean, potatoes with cheese sauce. What'd you think? Delicioso. It was actually really good. Of course, I didn't take the chicken because I'm pescatarian. Oh, as but my Japanese friends would say, Oishi. Oishi desu. Darius said the chicken was delicious. And okay, so it looks like just the Grand Banks thing is over here. I don't know because people are walking from both sides. So we're just gonna keep walking. The one thing that I will say thus far about this park, the layout is kind of confusing to me. Like, I don't know, I feel like I'm constantly like looking at backdrops, so I don't know what's what. But I'm gonna figure it out. So, yeah. Cheese sauce got me like acid. Don't tell nobody. But we'll continue raging on until we find the next adventure. Oh, and I wanted to say, the reason that we didn't watch many shows yesterday, because we did end up watching like one or two, but yeah, we, we did like a uh, Stitch, Stitch Encounter, which is a show. The shit's in Japanese, I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> we don't speak in Japanese. So sometimes I feel like it's kind of pointless to maybe like watch the it's show. It's still cool to see. Yeah, no, 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 it's like, don't get me wrong, it's still absolutely, that's cute. It's still absolutely cool to see, but you know, we're pretty much just kind of sitting there trying to make intelligent guesses of like what's going on and what's being said. And how intelligent can they be? Well, you don't know what they're talking about. I pulled some out of it. I'm sure he did. <laughs> but anyway. It is going. We are somewhere else. I don't know, there's a lighthouse there. There's a dock. I actually have no idea where you are, you guys, but it's so cool. Like everything is just so themed. It's themed so well. Which is not surprising because this is Disney and Disney is like the theming gurus. <laughs> of course they do. What kind? That's my flavor. It smells like milk chocolate. Probably. I'll be back. It is milk chocolate. Yeah, I can smell it. Okay, you guys. So, we are at Seaside Snacks. I'm about to get a shrimp bun. I was going to get some caramel popcorn, but... I am like it's a week of bun. I am very intrigued to taste this shrimp bun. The funny thing is it looks like a donut, so I don't know how to feel about it, but apparently I know. But apparently it's like a bun. 
with shrimp in it. So I'm definitely gonna try. I'm gonna crisis averted, you guys. Crisis a motherfucking verdict. I was about to get the shrimp bun, and I was just like googling it just to see. There is pork in it. For those of you who don't know, I am pescatarian. I've been pescatarian for a little over a year. But beyond that, I haven't had pork in five years. And the like every time I do end up getting like a little bit of pork in my system, I am like dying within the next 24 hours. Like easily dying within the next 24 hours. So she's not even about to do that to herself. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. It's been so long since I have since I've had pork. My body is just not accustomed to it. So I'm just gonna stick to my caramel popcorn. Okay, you guys, we are on Aquatopia. And this is it's a little cute boat ride. Look, you guys. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. Okay going backwards now but it is a cute little boat ride in the water it's so cool it's in the marine life area joint area so it's cool it's awesome and we're enjoying it so I'll call y'all back what's up y'all we are I don't know if I've talked to y'all since I've been in the Finding Nemo line but we are in the Finding Nemo line we have been in this line for two hours to get on a ride that I really don't even know is about to like what is about to happen. So yeah, that's the disadvantage of not coming early and not getting fast passes. Okay, so we just got off of Nemo Sea Lander, oh Sea Riders, and what do you think, babe? That was cool. Was it worth the wait? We're not waiting two hours to get on it. No. <laughs> um, it was worth a wait, maybe not two hours, but it was really cute. If if I had a child, it would have been worth the wait because I can imagine a child loving it. But me and my, you know, adult husband, it was cute, but it could have been better. I've seen more immersive rides that are similar so it was cool but we're on to like the next area it's this way babe which is um bathrooms huh? okay I have to use the restroom y'all so I'll be right back this <laughs> thing like Mr. Incredibles Jen loves the Incredibles. What's up, y'all? What's going on? We are inside of the Indiana Jones ride. Um, so this is what it looks like in the queue. <laughs> the queue is very detailed and um, it's really cool actually I'm not even gonna lie the queue is definitely dope compared to some of the other queues we've seen so it's got me like it's got me wondering like what the ride is gonna be because every ride that I've like googled in the past that was at like Disneyland or something like that when I've gotten on them here my assumptions were completely wrong it was nothing like the one there so because of that I have absolutely no clue what this is going to be like so I am very curious okay I'm very curious to see what the last ahead been but um what I do know is the queue is dope and I'm excited so we shall see. 
Cheerios from here to back. Oh, and I got a Cheero. I just got a lavender purple Cheero. And it was delicious. Crunchy, very crunchy. Crunchiest Cheero I've ever had in my life. But delicious nonetheless. So, yeah. The line, it says it's a 90 minute wait, but the line is moving pretty fast. So, I don't know. I haven't actually been able to keep track of this line. Like the time, because I got out of the line to get a Cheero. But, um. Yeah, I see that. Never mind, actually. The gentleman in front of us has a timer on, which is genius. I love that idea. If my phone wasn't going dead, I'd do that myself. But, so Darius has been in line for 45 minutes. I actually walked off for probably about 30 minutes to find a Chiro and water. Let me tell y'all something. This is a tip. If you are ever coming to Tokyo Disney Sea, Bring your own water bottles. They allow you to bring your own water jug, water bottle, water something because they do not sell water bottles here. And if it's hot and humid outside, you just want a nice, cool, refreshing, refreshing sip of water, you bitch, you ain't getting it. So bring your own water bottle, okay? So, yeah, um, we're almost there. I'll probably hit y'all back up when I when we get in like a different room if there is a different room to go in. And I'll see y'all later. What's up y'all? We um got just well we didn't just get off but we got off the Indiana Jones ride and it was amazing. Hands down, it's probably my favorite ride out both the parts thus far. It was super duper awesome. I was screaming and hollering. I still like the Roger Rabbit more, but... You like the Roger Rabbit more? Mm -hmm. I like the Indiana Jones more. I mean, we should have bought the picture. Darius is like this. <laughs> How is he then? <laughs> he looked so angry. <laughs> but that was absolutely see her lovely. hair hair was right here <laughs> he's lying y'all know my wig but anyway we're in line for rage's spirits now and so yeah see how that goes Try one more thing and maybe head out. Maybe I'm not sure. Depends on what else we still have to see. I know there's like 2,000 leagues or something that I actually really did want to get on and wanted to see. So I might. Want to get on I'm not sure. The speaking of raging spirits, the right that we're on now, the wait is 100 minutes. So we've been in line for like 40 something minutes so far. So. Still got like 60 minutes to go. So, you know, hopefully it's not accurate, I guess. The Indiana Jones ride was pretty accurate though. Find it, the Nemo ride was definitely accurate. I don't know. We shall see. But I will call you guys back after we get off of Raisin Spirit. So we just got off the, what is it, Raging? Raging, Raging, Wild Raging something? Tell's a little mad at me right now, so she's not gonna say too much. But that honestly, even though it was a roller coaster, might have been my favorite ride of the day. I don't think she feels the same. It's her. I almost blew my hat off, I almost blew her hair off. But you know, it's fun.
Okay, what's up y'all? We are in the car headed back to base. I'm so sorry that I didn't like do more recording, but I actually started um, not feeling very well <laughs> towards the end there. So um, we decided to go ahead and abort mission real quick so yeah Proceed that's what happened but i love you guys thank y'all so much for watching and supporting me and so on and so forth i will see y'all in the next video okay in one mile Peace.